Hi guys, it's your boy Hirtus here together with Sarkus. Uh, we are from Contubernium Hirti, of course, and today we're putting some of the theory and knowledge from uh, one of our previous videos into practice. We're making mosaics, and what are we making them of? So basically what we've got here is a few different uh, colored plates of marble provided for, uh, to us uh, from the only quarry in Poland, down south in the Sudetenland. As you can see, we've got one that is uh, falling into a sort of a red to pink sh uh, shades. We've also got one that comes uh, in gray and blue-ish, sort of. The sandy one that can also provide some brown colors. Uh, and the most precious one, white marble. And uh, how are we cutting these plates? Uh, we are using simple hand tools. Uh, it's it's uh, nothing more complicated than a uh, simple heavy tracer uh, for cutting stone, a hammer and a chisel for a more precise work. Uh, you basically take the tracer down the plate of marble and trace the line that you want the stone to be cut with in you will see in a video how it is done. With the hand tools we are creating the so-called tesserai. So what we've got here are tesserai, the little pieces of stone already cut uh, that we will be making our mosaics from. As you can see they are rather tall uh, since they are pieces that uh, were used to create mosaics that were meant for the floor. They have to be pretty firm and strong uh, as to not just you know break under the, under the weight of the boot especially the, uh, the nails, guy. <laughs> under the nails of the Kali guy. We've already have a tray ready with a uh, mosaic set in. Uh, we'll put some mortar right now onto it. As you can see from this side, uh, the mosaic is actually quite uneven. The tesserae are different heights. So this is not the top of the mosaic. Mosaic is actually laid down in a tray so it can be flat it will be after we the, the mortar is set in, it will be turned over and we'll see the actual picture that, that is created. Here we have the mortar. Soon we'll add uh, water and create a paste that will be put in the mosaic. And in the video today you will see how we're cutting the, uh, the, the tesserae, how we are putting them in a tray and uh, setting down uh, the mortar. So enjoy guys! In this first part of the video you can see me mixing up a first bit of mortar that I've ever mixed up. While Sokus on the right is cutting a tesserae out of blue marble using a chisel, tracer and a hammer. With the mortar ready I am putting it down on a mosaic. While doing so I have to be very delicate not to flip over any tesserae but also press it pretty strong so it would fill in the gaps between the stones. You have probably noticed a symbol that we chose for this mosaic from where we showed it before we set in the mortar. Yes, it is a phallus. And uh, you might be wondering why we chose this sort of symbol for our first mosaic. Where, first of all, we are reconstructing soldiers, so simple people. But also you must know that the phallus in a Roman world it was a symbol of prosperity and good luck. Stick till the end of the video to see how the mosaic turned out, as we reveal it after the mortar set in. Always remember to sign your work. In the second part of the video I move to the tesserae production while Sokus is laying out a new project, our second mosaic, which we will reveal once it is ready. For now you can see how much detail and time and effort went into creating the decorations that Romans used for their floors but also sometimes walls. You might be wondering why we are putting the tesserae in a tray. This is actually called an indirect method of laying a mosaic, where you use the flatness of the tray to create a 
flat tile for the floor it is actually quite annoying method of making a mosaic as during the production you can't see the picture that you're creating it only reveals itself to your eyes after about 24 hours when you're done with your work because you need to wait for the mortar to set in And for the grand opening, here's our work, nicely signed with a year of production, let's take it out of the box. And uh, here it is, our first mosaic. I'm actually quite proud of this work, as it was our first time working with stone and mortar. As you can see, we still have a lot of to learn, however the symbol is uh, quite clearly visible. Uh, from our first observations, we think we need to cut the stones a little bit uh, smaller uh, and maybe a little bit more accurately. Also, this mosaic requires uh, for sure some grouting, which we will do later. Guys, please uh, let us know what you think. Uh, let us know what you think we could also improve uh, because we want to produce uh, some more mosaics and some more complicated designs all creative criticism is always welcome. Here you can see a mosaic from the side, actually seeing the thickness of the tesserae. We've achieved to create a quite decent tile, which can be set in in the floor, of course, after grouting. Thank you for watching, and remember, Roma Caput Mundi!